हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर पूजा आई वेलकम यू ऑल बैक टू माई चैनल अगेन सो टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम मिक्स बैग ऑफ क्वेश्चन बिकॉज इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई हैड डिस्कस्ड रैपिड रिविजन ऑन द मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ द अमाइनो एसिड्स एज पर देयर कार्बन स्केलेटन एंड एज पर देयर नाइट्रोजन स्केलेटन राइट सो लेट्स क्विकली डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन बिकॉज वी ऑल नो दैट एफ एम जी ई एग्जाम इज अराउंड द कॉर्नर इफ यू सी क्वेश्चन नंबर वन albumins and globulins are classified as so albumins and globulins are the simple proteins because whenever we study the classification of proteins they are of three main classes simple conjugate and derived सो सिंपल में इट एल्ब्यूमिन ग्लोबलिन स्किलरो प्रोटीन्स एंड योर कैराटिन ओरिजन इन ग्लूटेल इन वेलकम कॉन्जुकेट मीन्स प्रोटीन प्लस अलॉन्ग विद अ नॉन प्रोटीन पार्ट दे प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रुप इज अटैच एंड डिराइव इज विच हैव बीन डिराइव फ्रॉम सिंपल एंड कॉन्जुकेट सो हियर द आंसर विल बी सिंपल ग्लोबुलर प्रोटीन्स then which of the following biochemical reactions does not occur in the mitochondria now this question i have discussed so many times with you people does not occur in mitochondria so if we talk about krebs cycle krebs cycle is simply aerobic so it has to be in the presence of mitochondria if we talk about urea cycle urea cycle again two compartments mitochondria and cytoplasm because first and second step occur in the mitochondria third fourth and fifth occur in the cytoplasm if we talk about gluconeogenesis gluconeogenesis may the first step that is in the presence of pyruvate carboxylase occurs in the mitochondria so the option left is fatty acid synthesis and that is what exactly happens the synthesis of fatty acids always takes place in the cytosol clear then second which of the amino acids produces a vasodilator on decarboxylation decarboxylation mane removal of carbon dioxide right and if we talk about this vasodilator one comes uh, in our mind that is histamine and histamine is synthesized from histidine by again decarboxylation so the answer will be b moving on to the next detoxification of drugs is controlled by so always it is cytochrome p450 because it plays a very very important role as a detoxifying agent and if we have to describe detoxification we know d means removal of the toxic substances so it's the removal of toxic substances from the body and metabolism of xenobiotics takes place in two phases phase 1 may hydroxylation is there and you can see catalyzed by a member of a class of enzymes referred to as cytochrome p450 or mono oxygenases this is the example right then next question methotrexate blocks the synthesis of thymidine monophosphate by inhibiting the activity of the enzyme now this question is from enzyme inhibition and always remember it is a this is an anti cancerous drug which is a competitive inhibitor of folate reductase now see where it is it is dihydrofolate reductase and here what happens is uracil is converted into thymine that methyl group is coming from folate reductase so the answer will be a then in maple syrup urine disease which of the following compounds is accumulated now this is a very important question this has been asked in your fmge exam some 2 3 years back always remember msud in this the deficient enzyme is alpha keto acid decarboxylase so which of the following compound will be accumulated it will be methyl malonyl coenzyme a and if it is which of the following enzyme is deficient then it will be alpha keto acid decarboxylase all right so you have to see the option and then only you can write your answers clear then next glycogenin now glycogenin is what glycogenin is simply a primer which is required for the start up of glycogenesis now see uncoupler no polymer polymer or protein primer for glycogen synthesis so this is a very simple question answer will be this 
then an uncoupler of oxidative phosphorylation such as dnp always remember dnp was also considered to be a weight reduction reducing drug why because electron transport chain to ho rahi hai but whatever energy is required for the synthesis of atp it is dissipated in the form of heat so that is why it is water it is an uncoupler so the answer will be it will allow electron transport to proceed without atp synthesis because this is the function of an uncoupler then primary structure of proteins can be determined by the use of always remember primary structure means n terminal residue analysis and for this we always use sanger's reagent which is 2,4 dinitrofluorobenzene this is required for n terminal residue analysis and another is edmund degradation edmund degradation mein the uh, reagent is pitc phenyl isothiocyanate then this is again a very important question an amino acid that does not form an alpha helix always remember this is again your fmge question proline wherever proline is present it will always destabilize the helix so the answer will be proline then biotin is a coenzyme for again a fmg question always remember biotin which is b7 it is always required for carboxylation now you have to find out carboxylation enzyme will be pyruvate carboxylase which is again a mitochondrial enzyme of gluconeogenesis mitochondrial enzyme in gluconeogenesis so the answer will be this then insulin decreases the activity of insulin which is an anabolic hormone always remember anabolic hormone means it is going to increase all the anabolic processes even though glycolysis is an exception which is a catabolic hormone and still accelerated by insulin ab yahan pe if you see HMG coa reductase rate limiting enzyme of cholesterol biosynthesis anabolic process phosphodiesterase decreases the concentration of cyclic AMP which is promoted by insulin acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase the rate limiting enzyme of lipogenesis which is promoted by insulin so insulin decreases the activity of cyclic AMP dependent protein kinase and the reaction is ATP forms cyclic AMP which is converted in the presence of phosphodiesterase to form 5 prime amp insulin activates this process glucagon inhibits this process insulin inhibits this process glucagon accelerates this process so the answer is simply a so insulin will decrease the activity of cyclic amp dependent protein kinase then beta oxidation of odd chain fatty acids always remember odd chain fatty acids always produces propenyl coenzyme a which undergoes gluconeogenesis very very important question again this question is also a mci question this is uh, this has been asked in your fmge exam uh, twice then all of the following statements regarding ketone bodies are true except again a fmge question ketone bodies we know that ketone bodies are acetone acetoacetate and beta hydroxybutyrate which increases during starvation and in diabetes mellitus ab they may result yes they are increased in starvation they are never formed in kidneys they are produced in the liver this is very important again then they include acetoacetate and acetone yes and they may be excreted in urine yes whenever the concentration the normal concentration of ketone bodies is 1 mg per dl but they increase and they can be excreted in urine in diabetes mellitus leading to ketonuria then hexosa aminidase a is deficient in now this is an uh, question from lipid metabolism again a fmge question always remember hexosa aminidase a is deficient in tay sex disease which is gm2 gangliosidosis if we talk about gauchers gauchers where the deficient enzyme is beta glucocerebrosidase neemin pick disease is also sphingomyelinase and fabrice miseramidase 
राइट सो टेस एक्स डिजीज में द एंजाइम डेफिशियंट इज हेक्सोसा अमीनी डेस ए राइट सो हेयर वी फिनिश अप विद द डिस्कशन ऑफ सम फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दीज आर योर प्रीवियस ईयर एफ एम जी ई क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू गिव यू एन आइडिया कि वॉट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन बी एक्सपेक्टेड इन दिस एग्जाम राइट सो दिस मेपल सिरप यूरिन डिजीज इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन राइट सो इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो यू कैन दिस इज माई channel link and if you have any queries you can post it directly on my email id you can subscribe like and subscribe my channel and uh, tomorrow we will be discussing again with some more questions which uh, are matlab very very important from examination point of view thank you so much take care